grew up in Long Branch, New Jersey. Um, my uh, grandmother ran a grocery store, just a little tiny grocery store, uh, to support the family. Her husband had abandoned the family when uh, she had four kids under six or seven years of age. And so she was on her own. And, and you know, she's a tough and gritty, gritty lady and had four obstreperous uh, kids to deal with. Uh, had some family support in, in town, which was good. And uh, my father and, and actually his, uh, all, of his, all of his siblings turned out to, to be uh, strong and successful people in, uh, in whatever careers they, they chose. Uh, when he graduated from high school, my father was, uh, he was, it was in the Depression, or the beginning of, I guess it was before the Depression, but it was, uh, it was tough times. And um, he had a number of jobs. At one point he went to work for his, for his father in Connecticut, uh, sold butter and eggs uh, for a while, and uh, they didn't get along, and had a few other jobs, but the best thing that happened was he, uh, at some party in uh, 1931, I guess. Uh, he met my mother, uh, and uh, they started seeing each other and got married in 1933. Uh, she was a, a terrific woman who grew up on the other side of the, the right side of the tracks. I didn't say was the best thing that happened to my father besides marrying my mother was he became, you know, associated with my grandfather, who was the father that he never had. And they were very close. And together they built this uh, uh, import-export business facing now to South America, where you could travel during World War II. And so as I grew up, my father was constantly uh, going to South America, uh, taking orders for things he could procure in the United States and, and selling things in South America that, uh, that they wanted and buying things that could be shipped north for, at a profit, et cetera. But on one of his trips, somebody uh, ordered a bunch of steel, uh, thinking there was a sale. It turned out it was just an inquiry. But so he had the steel in inventory and no customer. The price of steel plummeted, and basically it wiped out the company. So in you know 19, late 48, uh, he t turned the company over to somebody else who assumed the debts. And he uh, was left with nothing but uh, the house that we owned. Uh, and, you know, a few dollars in the bank, et cetera. And, uh, so to regroup and decide what to do next, he, my mother decided to take a week off for 10 days and go to North Carolina and play some golf, clear their heads and decide what the next step would be, whether to get a job or start a new company or whatever. And while he was there, he, they stayed with my mother's sister, who had married a Richmonder, and had lived in Richmond for 20 years. Uh, had a house on Park Avenue just below uh, the boulevard. And, um, and they, they got along very well. Uh, and while they were there, my father had his hair cut.